Hello everyone and welcome to Shortcode. Today we will be going through all the solutions from the previous four episodes that we've done. So in the first episode I set you three challenges and as we can see here these are all the solutions to the first video. So the first challenge of the first video was to print out I love programming in Python and as you can see here we just do print I love programming in Python. Now for the second challenge, it won uh, you needed to make a program for outputs. I will be the best programmer ever, but each new wo word is on a new line. So you want to print out, I will be the best programmer ever like this, but make sure you use three lots of speech marks on the beginning and the end. And then each word is on a new line, which allows us to do a multi-line print. Finally, make a program for outputs a poem, but each line in the, in the poem is on a new line in the output window. So it's literally just the same thing as up here. It's just like this. Three uh, lots of speech marks at the start and the bottom, and each line in the poem has a new line in Python. If we run it, yeah, we can see we get all programming in Python, which is the first challenge. I'll be the best programmer ever is the second. And then finally, the poem, which is uh, one that I wrote myself and it's top quality. So in the second video, I set you three challenges to do. The first challenge was to make a program that prints out a variable, whether it be a string, an integer, or a float. So here we have a variable called var. It's a string variable, it just has a string right here, which is high. And print var, which prints out high. Secondly, you needed to make a program that prints out two variables that are strings. So we have a variable called var2. Inside it's got hi and var3, which is there. And all you had to do is do print var2 var3 with a comma in between. And the final challenge was to make a program that adds together an integer and a variable that is an integer. So we can just have var4 equals 21, the name is var4, and the contents is the number 21, and you just wanted to do print any number, I chose 2, plus var4. So if we run it, we get hi, which relates to this. Then we also get hi there, which is the second challenge, and then finally 23, because 21 plus 2 is 23. Now for the third lot of challenges that I set you, so for the first one you needed to make a program that adds together two float variables. So what you should have done is just created two variables. M my first one's just called var, var and the second one's called var2. And the contents of those are 2.5 and 5.3. Then you just do print var plus var2 or the names of your variable. Secondly, make a program that adds together two float variables and then ver and then the result is to the fourth power. I'm still using these two variables set up here, so we just do var plus var2, which adds them together. Then we just use this um, operator, which is for indices, to the power of four. And finally, make a program that gets the remainder of two float variables, then the result is floor divided by a number of your choice. So we do var modulus var2 which gets the remainder of 2.5 divided by 5.3 and then we divide that and round it down by 2 so if we run it we get 2.5 plus 5.3 is 7.8 and then 5.2 plus 5.3 to the fourth power is this large number here and then 2.5 divided by 5.3 for remainder then divided by 2 and rounded down is 1 as we can see here and then finally for the fourth video there were also three challenges the first one needed to have two variables that both contain inputs and then they each get one number and print out the variables added together now this one is actually quite hard, bearing in mind that this is a basic tutorial. 
but I'll explain it as best I can. So we have two variables. L later on in the series, I'll explain what I'll explain what I'm doing in more detail, and we'll cover it, and you can understand it more. So we've just got two variables here, var and var2. They both have inputs, number one and number two, and we want to print var plus var2. What we've got here is this int, this int statement, and it surrounds the var and the var2. Now, what what would happen if we didn't use this int var? If we just did print print var plus var2, what would happen is if we run it, we get number one, I don't know, five, number two, seven, and here we get 57. Because what it's doing here is it's got five and seven as strings, and it's just shoved those two together to get 57 because in the input, five is a string and seven is a string and we've just shoved it right together to get 57. If you don't understand this at the moment, it doesn't matter, we'll cover it in a later video. So, we've just convert. what we've done here is we've converted it into an integer, and if we look back here, converting it into an integer, 5 plus 7 as integers is 12. Alright, for the second challenge you need to have two input variables that ask for two words and then print them out together in one print statement. So what we have here is, I don't know, var3 equals input world1, word1, then var4 equals input word2, and then we just print var3 and var4. So if we go like this, make sure to have your comma in there as well to separate them out. Word1, hello, there, hello there. And then finally, for the third challenge, have three input variables asking different questions and then print your answers were and then all the answers you inputted in one print statement. So we just have three lots of variables asking three different questions, variable name q1, q2 and q3, they all hold input statements all asking different questions. And then finally it does print your answers were and then separated by commas to give a little space q1 q2 q3 so if we run it what is your name caleb what is five times three fifteen what is your favorite programming language mine is python your answers were caleb 15 and python so that's all for today guys it was just the solutions for episodes one to four make sure to stay tuned by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss any of the next ones. Also drop a like if this helped you out, it helps me out a lot. If you have any questions about Python or the solutions to any of these or need any help with any errors or anything, be sure to leave it in the comments section below, I'll be sure to help you out. Any suggestions or feedback would also be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.